Hi, this is Lloyd from LloydMesita.com and who is LloydMesita.com? The time right now is 4.57 in the morning. Uh, the date is the 17th of May 2014. Okay, I've not slept actually. I finished reading this book. Uh, the book is uh, A Short Guide to Long Life by David B. Higgis, MD. He is the author of uh, The End of Illness. And I happened to buy this book because of the reviews that I happened to get um, on this book. But I didn't know that the reviews were for uh, the end of illness and not for this book. How, but anyway, I, I bought this book and um, I'll just give you a brief about who is this guy. David B. Here he is. David B. Angus. Uh, yeah, okay. So David uh, Agus, Agus born uh, January 29th. Oh, born on the same date as me. January 29, 1965, is an American physician and New York Times bestselling author. He's a professor of medicine and engineering. Oh, here's my dog. And the co-founder of Navigenics, a personalized medicine company, and applied proteomics as well as a CBS News contributor. Okay, so what is this book all about? This book is like, it's an easy to read medical reference book, uh, which contains around 65 points and many other tips later on. What the author has to say, and he has, you know, summarized each point in, uh, let's say less than three pages. For example, um, this one, chapter 11, practice uh, oral hygiene um, in bed and out. It's just one, two, and three pages. Then, uh, you know, for example, another chapter, which I'll give you, he talks about uh, dealing with sickness smartly, chapter 25. It's just two pages. See, the book is pretty small, so you can read this pretty easy. So just read out the chapters in this book. Uh, um, and the chapters itself are self-explanatory. Okay? It's really easy to understand. So I'll give the 65 points. Listening to the 65 points itself can help you. Number one is listen, look, and feel. Record your body features. Point number two, measure yourself. Three, automate your life. Number four, mobilize your medical data. Number five, eat real food. Don't let the apple fall far away from the tree. Point number six, know your grocer. Number seven, grow a garden. Number eight, maintain a dietary protocol that works for you. Number nine is cultivate home in the office, that is peace. Uh, number 10 is have a glass of wine with dinner. 11 is practice good hygiene in bed and out. Uh, chapter 12, go habitat. 13 is maintain healthy weight. 14 is get your annual flu shots even if you're never sick and never have gotten flu. Number 15, get naked. Number 16, get your butt out more. 17, jack up your heart rate 50% above your resting baseline for at least 15 minutes every day. Number 18 is start a sensible caffeine habit. 19, ask mom and dad what gr killed a grandpa and aunt Marge. 20 is consider DNA testing. And let me scroll down. 21 is inquire about statins if you're over the hill. Uh, 22, take a baby aspirin. 23, abide by screen and booster vaccination recommendations. Uh, 24, plan out a 1, 5, 10, 20 year health strategy. 20, yeah, sorry, that was 24. 25, deal with sickness smartly. 26, manage chronic conditions. Number 27, partner with your doc. 28, Strengthen and core, strengthen your core and maintain good posture. 29 is smile. 30, pursue your passions. 31 is be positive. 32 is find out what exercise or activity you're bad at and focus on that. 33 is protect your eyes and ears. 34 is don't forget your teeth and your feet. Uh, 35 is learn CPR. 36 is make a mobile supply kit for emergencies. 37 is eat more than three servings of cold water fish a week. 38, eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. 39, speak strongly to the next generation. 40 is embrace your OCD side, that is obsessive compulsive disorder. 41 is never skip breakfast. 42, 17 milligrams twice a day. 43, take a positive from getting a disease. Uh, 44 is stretch. 45, keep a to-do list. 46, ask for health. 47 asks for children, uh, sorry, have children, 48 comply, 49 pick up a pooch, 50 have a, have the toughest conversation, and then 51 is understand basic bio vocabulary, 52 is make your own definitions of health, 53 is bad ingredients and fat diets, 
54 detoxes, 55 risky behaviors and dangerous sports, 56 airport back scatters and x-ray scanners, 57 is sunburns, 58 is insomnia, 59 still still let still still let toes and other sneaky informations, sources of inflammation. I keep getting confused with those pronunciation. 60 is juicing, 61 is eating more than three servings of bread and or processed meats a week. 62 is vitamins and supplements, 63 absence of downtime, 64 smoking, and 65 holding your medical information. Now, apart from all these 65 points, so what he has done is he has given us the top 10 actions to reduce your risk for illness, the top 10s of many things like how to educate your kids, causes of death, cause of death worldwide, popular food myths, then high fat in foods that are high in trans fat, most sugary foods. I found this one useful, high glycemic index food because I'm searching for it. I could not find it anywhere online. Then 11 fish with omega-3, 10 fish with mercury contamination, 10 most useful health and medicine websites, then five food poisoning culprits, 10 reasons to go into the ER and 10 reasons to do during a cold season. Now, what did I like about this book? It was very easy to read, language is pretty simple and very doable strategies. Uh, the focus was more towards prevention than cure, which was another good thing. So you have to look at long term. And the uh, last thing was, there are a lot of tips actually, quite a number of them. So you can cherry pick which one you like. The three things that I didn't like about this book is some of the tips are uh, easy to state but pretty hard to do. Like, for example, measure yourself, automate your life, hoarding medical information. It, it looks easy. It sounds easy. It's not easy. It's, you know, you got to do it every day. Another one was uh, some of the tips were very easy to state. For example, he says, uh, know your grocer, grow a garden, but I don't think anyone's going to do that. And uh, the last bit is uh, most of the information that I read in this book is stuff that I already know, except the glycemic part of which I was searching for. So I didn't feel this book added anything like very, very new. So my moment of truth, it's a good book, easy to read, great reference to keep um, Instead of going through the unfathomable tsunami, tsunami of uh, information that is there, one guy contradicts another. You just do not know what is right and what is not right. Uh, my only bone of contention with this book is that uh, the book could have been reduced to a few pages um, and only stated what was required. In fact, so, you know, they just went and made a, made a book. Overall, I gave it a 4 out of 10. So this is what I thought of this book. That is the short guide to a long life. I just hope to get the book, The End of Illness. Um, let's see, I'll try to get my book, uh, my pause on that book, and then give you a book review of that as well. So live from livemacedo.com and who's livemacedo.com. I hope you enjoy the, um, you know, update with me and my pet doggy. So anyway, saying thank you and goodbye for now. Ugh, don't kiss me.